Ukrainian troops have launched a large-scale attack on Russia's Kursk region, Russian Defense Ministry reported on Tuesday. At around 8.00 o'clock on Tuesday morning, around 300 Ukrainian troops from the 22nd Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, with the support of 11 tanks and over 20 armored combat vehicles, attacked the positions along Russia's state border in the Nikolivodaryino and Oleshnya settlements of Kursk region adjacent to the Russian-Ukrainian border, the ministry stated in its official telegram channel. The ministry stressed that Russian troops on the state border, jointly with the units of the border troops of Russia's security service, FSB, are repelling attacks and opening fire at Ukrainian troops in the area of the state border and the military reserves in the Sumy region. Ukrainian armed forces have been targeted around Basavka, Zurovka, Khotyn, Unikovka, Belovady, Kropovshchiny settlements in the Sumy region, the ministry said. Adding that aviation is effectively used against Ukrainian armored vehicles. The reserves of the Russian units in the Kursk direction have been brought into the area of the clashes. The ministry claimed that 16 units of armored vehicles of the Ukrainian armed forces were destroyed, including, six tanks, two infantry fighting vehicles, four armored personnel carriers, three Kozak armored combat vehicles and an engineering barrier vehicle. Earlier on Tuesday, acting governor of the Kursk region, Alexei Smirnov, reported that 26 Ukrainian aircraft-type UAVs were shot down in the region. He also announced attempts by the armed forces of Ukraine to penetrate the territory of the region. On Tuesday, authorities repeatedly warned the region's population about the danger of an air attack. Then the missile alert was cancelled. There have been no reports in Ukraine about the attack on Kursk. Ukraine has been given ex-Danish F-16s with all the upgrades you would expect, plus some extra equipment that could be very useful for the war-battered Ukrainian Air Force. According to Forbes, based on the published images, the Ukrainian F-16s are equipped with infrared guided AIM-9 missiles and radar guided AIM-120 missiles, which highlight the possible role of the F-16 in air defense. The publication's journalists also drew attention to the missile pylons. The pylons in the middle of the wing include built-in self-defense systems, critical systems for fighters operating in dangerous airspace. And to be clear, there is currently no airspace in the world more dangerous than over Ukraine, the publication noted. These defenses include the integrated pylon distribution system and the integrated pylon electronic countermeasure system, PIDS and ECIPS. Both are produced jointly by Israeli firm Elbit and partner Terma in Denmark. European F-16 operators began installing the upgraded pylons several years ago. The PIDS emits metallic reflectors and flaming flares to deceive incoming radar and infrared guided surface-to-air missiles. The ECIPS contains passive defenses to complement the active reflectors and flares, including the AN stroke ALQ-162 jammer to suppress ground radars and the AN stroke AAR-60 missile warning system to trigger passive defenses. Together, the PIDS and ECIPS provide the F-16 with comprehensive protection against a wide range of enemy missiles. For the Ukrainian Air Force, these self-defense capabilities meet a pressing need. It is inevitable that the invaders will shoot down some, perhaps many, F-16s, but PIDS and ECIPS can delay these losses and save the lives of pilots, the publication stated. How effective PIDS and ECIPS will be depends largely on how the Ukrainians deploy their F-16s. If the fighters primarily fly air defense missions deep inside Ukrainian territory, they may only have to deal with the longest-range Russian missiles. But if the F-16s fly a lot of ground attack missions just over the front lines, they will face much heavier enemy fire, the publication noted. At the end of July, the media reported that Ukraine had received its first F-16 fighters. At the same time, it was said that the Ukrainian armed forces had allegedly received six fighters from the Netherlands.